I took this this box I got from the Sephora collection the brush set thing and I filled it with some of the newer products that I picked up recently so I'm gonna pull from there and figure out some type of a look I already did my eyebrows because they look like a hot mess I haven't had them done in a while so I did them off camera plus I didn't have anything new for brows I need to start venturing out some new brow products because I just used my brows so, yeah. and I cleaned them up with the, the NARS soft matte complete concealer in the shade caramel so that's what I used to clean them up and now I need to set my eyelid I have two set eyeshadow palettes the Morphe 25A and the Smashbox Golden Hours Cover Shot Palette that I got in my last Gratis Haul. And since this one has absolutely no mattes in it, what's up for the top two? So, no blending shades, so that's why I brought this one out. So, hopefully, I can figure it out. First things first, since it has I like colored shade here. I'm going to use that to set my concealer on my eye. And that shade is called... I think I'm using Hero. Yeah, that has the name. I wish, yeah. Take the sticker off. And I'm going to take this shadow right here. And put that in my crease. and to really put this in the outer V and the inner corner I'm thinking of doing a halo eye today so I haven't done one in a while So for the other, the outer, the outer V, I'm going to take this brown color here in the third row on this Sephora Pro crease brush number 19. And the outer part of my eye. very heavy handed on the side of my eye and this eye as opposed to this one so I'm thinking of using this pink color this pink color I didn't realize that was pink 
on here. But I feel like it's not as pigmented as I wanted, so I'm going to put another color under it to layer it on top of it. Let's take this shadow here, probably the least gold looking shadow in this palette, well one of them. This one right here, and I'm going to put that on my lid as a base for that other color. Now I'm going to dip into this other shade, and I believe it's called Sight. Right here, this pink one that I just showed you. So I'm going to take that and put this on top of that Morphe eyeshadow. I'm just going to go back and blend everything out. Yeah. And I'm going to go back in with that darker shade. onto the face a little bit so I'm going to put my correctors on because I don't have any new correctors to use today. Before I do that I do have a new primer to use and it's the Touch and Soul No Problem, Pro no Problem Primer. It's a sample but I think I hope I can put a picture of it of the actual product. It's new. I saw it in the store the other day. So I think I'm going to try it out. Ooh, and it's this pink gel color. Pink color, like a gel, a gel formula. Reminds me of my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel moisturizer. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna focus this around my nose. I feel like almost reminds me of the Smashbox um, photo finish primer. It has that. Um, dimethicone smoothing feel so if you don't like that you probably will not like this primer I have two foundations well three but the other one I had for a while so I'm not gonna include that one was the wet and well photo focus but I've had that one for like a couple weeks now I recently found the main the Milan conceal and perfect two in one and then I got another shade of the Narsher glow so I'm gonna mix them because I know this one is rather thick this is a different shade. I have Cadiz. I think it's a little bit of a peachy undertone. So I'm still on the hunt for my perfect Sheer Glow shade. I was gonna... I have two things to apply them with. I was gonna use this. The Caking Pig Liquid and Powder Makeup Sponge. But I don't have a powder to bake with. I have a powder. From Stella. But it's it's white. It's translucent but it's, it's white. So I'm not gonna bake with it. <laughs> So I'm going to use this brush that I got in gratis. It's the number 95 from Sephora Collection. Core Pro Core Diffuser Angled. So it has a little dense section in the middle. Let me try it out. Hmm. Hmm. I can see brush marks when I swirl it. So I'm not going to continue to do that. Kind of full coverage. Mm. As long as I dab, so I like to dab this. In. Not let not um swipe or swirl it. Just dab it. So now I'm gonna do my concealer off camera because it's not new. 
and I don't want to waste space. Put it on and blend it out. I have some cream contouring products here. It's a cream highlighter. I have this one and then I have this Milani one with this liquid highlighter, but I don't like the way this highlighter looks. I've tried it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start with the Giordana one. I have the Giordana Sculpt and Gold Creamy Contour Stick. I think this is like 2 or $3, but I've had it for a while. But I haven't been using it. I'm just going to see, I'm going to use my foundation brush to blend it out. I'm just going to see how this goes. Hmm, not bad. This looks more natural on me. I got the shade 3 Deep. the Giordano one on top of it as well just because it's a little bit darker it's significantly darker disappeared into my foundation you know I had a con I had a different concealer I wanted to use in there and I totally forgot about it whatever it was the new Milani one the Milani erase and retouch another time then so my concealer is done alright I guess it's, it's very natural and then I have this Glow and Go Jordana Cream Highlight Cream Strobing Sets and 03 Bronze Glow. They had a lighter one too, but I got this one. I'm scared. Is it even really showing up? Well, that's enough of that. So I'm gonna set my face now using this filler. I'm going to use a very light amount of it under my eyes, so we're not playing around here. It's very light. Very finely melt. So I'm going to set that highlighter so I can finish doing setting the rest of my face without worrying about it. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the crown of my canopy. One of the Becca Sunlit Bronzers in Infinima Sun. That I've been I've been loving it a lot recently, and then I have this Mac Pearl Matte Face Powder and All My Passion. I don't really know what to do with this. I think it's not really it's not a bronzer. It's too it looks highlighty on me, so I'm gonna use this. And when So I went back in with the same transition shade I used first in the Morphe on my lower lash line and then I'm taking this 
hotline shade from the Smashbox Cover Shop palette. Um, I'm putting that closer to the lower, closer to the lash line. My camera decided to die on me. Oh, not die on me. Turn off. For mascara, I'm going to do the Maybelline Lash and Sensational and Sumptuous, the black packaging one. I've never tried this one, and I know they came out with another one too. Okie doke, interesting brush. Oh, mm, it wickles. I never tried to be like, I think I've been known this. Sorry, I'm late to the pool. Okay, so wet mascara. My lashes don't like wet mascara. I feel like I really like this mascara when it dries down. Now I have to do its blush next, so I'm going to use that my powder for blush. Since I have this small blush brush, I can hopefully pick out only the purplish shades. Ooh. Oh, see, that works. Lipsticks from Wet n Wild that I need to choose between. Is it a nude? Pink? I think I'm gonna go with the purple. Yeah. I'm gonna take this Bright Beauty lip liner and number 96. finished look my camera died on me well it stopped recording so this is what my lips look like with the lipstick on all right so I have yeah very recognized from what and all hmm very little transparent I think that might be the lip liner but yeah so my camera is about to die so I'm not gonna bother changing into full this is what it looks like. Um, notes, notes, notes. Um, as for the primer, I'm not sure if it has any mattifying quality still. I still need to check. I'll let you know. Um, it really doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my face. It doesn't look like I have primer. What does it? I guess. I guess. I guess it builds pores, but I don't think it's also a smoothing primer for like the bumps that like the texture I have on my face. It doesn't really do anything to help that. The pores, I can see the pore filling, but not really. What is that? Not really texture filling. I guess this leads me into the powder. I'm still on the as of right now. I'm not too thrilled with it because it seems like it didn't do the greatest job right now. And that's quite annoying because there's creasing under my eyes. I don't usually crease, but the concealer was really dewy, especially since it's really warm out today. So that didn't really help it, to be fair. The highlighter looks really nice. I feel like the, the cream bronzers were really natural from my liking, a little too natural. The lipstick I like. Um, the blush looks really nice, so I'm going to use that powder as more of a blush now. 
the foundation color it seems i feel like it looks a little light the candle i just went in the room to see my mom she thought it was dark so it might just be my lighting um yeah this eyebrow here is ridiculous the eyeshadow I, I i like nothing bad to say about that the planners are good so yeah the brush I liked, it's, um, I wouldn't swirl. Maybe I'll try with different foundations and get back to you on it, but I think it's more for just patting it in. Well, I seems it to work that way better for me. So, yeah. So, that's it for this, I don't know, first impressions with new makeup look. I don't know. But yeah, it also going to be my first Eid look. No, it's not. I want to do something really good for my first Eid makeup look. Let me know if you guys have anything in mind. So yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!